What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of our podcast. We think of calling it the uh, the Rise Up Podcast. This is Big T, as you know him already. This is my brother Grant, the other half of Rise Magic. Today is unfortunately Grant's uh, last day. Today is unfortunately Grant's last day here in Philadelphia with myself and Tyler. Yeah. We will miss him dearly, and this will be our third podcast, right? And yeah. we want to keep this going because we're having a lot of fun, just hanging out, talking. Hopefully entertaining you guys. So we're going to try and find a way to do it virtually. Yeah. I just sound like an 80-year-old man. Virtually. Uh, we want to try and connect somehow. Yeah. So I've heard that like Discord's a good option. Stuff along those lines. No, but if you no, guys no, have any... Well. If you what guys have any... um, What about Discord? I've never heard that before. What is Discord? It's, it's like... Uh, uh, it was made for gamers to communicate and chat with each other while they're playing their video games. But in the gaming community sense, there's such harsh competition... Something to rise to the top like that, it's usually pretty good. And Discord is pretty good, so it can be used for other things. Huh. What it does a really good job is it cuts out background audio. So when it comes to the computer, it's super, super clear. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. It is pretty good. So, But if any of you guys know anything about that, have any suggestions, please tell us. We're, we'd love to hear. And yeah, it's definitely something we want to keep going. So we enjoy doing it, and we hope you enjoy listening to it. All right. So as always, Tyler. You got any questions for us that the uh, viewers sent in? Sure, I have uh, two questions from the Crimson Joker. Ooh. Question number one: What did you guys plan on doing before Magic came into the picture? You can start off, Grant. Yeah, I was planning on being a physics teacher for high school, maybe college eventually, but uh, didn't really enjoy physics past my junior year of high. I'm um, not high school, college when it just got to the really theoretical and not like hands-on stuff, and so. I wasn't really about that, looking for a skate, so found video editing, camera stuff, really enjoyed it. That's what we're doing now. I mean, for me, as you guys have seen in some of our uh, episodes of Rise Again, we're both very tall, right? Tyler is tall as well, about 6'7 himself. Yeah. So sports have always been a huge part of our lives. So before the whole magic thing came into the picture, really the main thing I did with myself was basketball. Played a lot, a lot of freaking basketball. Yeah, even after we started doing magic, I still play basketball. Yeah. So now that basketball is out of the picture and it's more magic and I spend a lot of time on magic, I feel like if magic was in the picture, basketball would be a much bigger part of my life, whether I'd be playing more competitively in college or something like that. And career-wise, basketball. Really? I'll be playing in Lithuania with the Ball <laughs> Brothers. With Hold the Ball up. Brothers. With the Ball Brothers. Ooh. I could take... Lavar, Lamelo. You wouldn't be getting Angelo. any shots. No one would be passing the ball. I play point. Dude, uh, team Mello. Leangelo, off topic. I think Leangelo is low key going to be the best ball brother. Everybody's sleeping. I no. I think so. No, he's six foot four. But I think he's. Is he the best. a center? Six foot no. four center. No, he's not. He can shoot. Anyway, he let's, actually, let's not go. He off actually the has form, not this crap. Yeah, but he's short. He's not. He's, he's six same, four. He's is the, not he's short. He's basically the same. All right, this is Lonzo not go was only this, six six. Let's not go off on this tangent. Lonzo was not tall either. If when Tyler's wrong, we can go back to this episode to rise up and just say like Tyler. You're Watch, wrong. Leangelo was gonna hoop, and you you heard it here first. All right. Anyway, and the next what question was, the, was, what are we serious? Oh yeah, what is the next question? Uh, ten years from now, what are you doing? Magic and cardistry, or something more elaborate that actually makes you money? <laughs> it doesn't say that. I said that, but go okay. ahead. Okay, um, I was a hater. I think I'll always be doing magic and cardistry for of like till I die. It'll help with my arthritis when I'm 80 years old. Ooh, arthritis. And I feel game. like it'll always be something I'm known for and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But yeah. I don't want it to be my career. Mm. And I, I hope that doesn't disappoint any of you guys. But Grant, you want it to be your career? No. Um, like I love it. It's a great side, a great side hustle. Some people call it side side hobby. But um, I really could see myself doing something more with marketing video, photo, something along those lines. Maybe like a director of photography or something or something like that. That might be a little bit too uh, not affluent for me. I, I think right. you um, one of the great things that, uh, there's a podcast I listen to, Jalen Jacoby, and Jalen Rose says this a lot where he says, if you have a talent, you have to use your talent, not let your talent use you. Mm. So What does that mean? When it, I'll explain. So if we have a talent in Magic and Cars, you're like right. that, letting that talent use us would mean like, doing whatever that makes us do. So that would be becoming a career magician, 
Oh, right. Oh, okay. And performing at schools and doing that and that only, rather than using that talent to take us other places. Oh, I like so it. So he's talking about it in a basketball sense where you could be a professional basketball player or you could be like LeBron James who's a professional basketball player but is using basketball to make himself a billionaire and a business mogul in TV, movies, and all that stuff, right? Right. Hmm. Yeah. Good. So like even we've already started doing that with like I got my current job because of Rise. That's exactly what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Is the opportunities you can gain through being able to do magic, having a YouTube channel, knowing Carter Street, you can use those skills to take you somewhere greater and somewhere broader. Mm. And I'm not saying that this can't be the end goal for anyone else. I'm just saying for us, we want to focus on something broader. And that's part of what tr we're trying to do here with the three videos a week. We're trying to expand our horizons a little bit. We'll still talk about magic and Carter on this podcast, but also showing you guys a little bit more, more than, than that. We are. Yeah. And so like, um, and let's say anyone who does want to be a career magician, that doesn't have to be the end goal for you. Like yeah. just making a living off of doing magic, that's great. And once you get there, rather than just being complacent and being there, see what you can do more. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> Nice. All right, our next question comes from Jonathan J. Pegg, who asks, what's the best way to get a date? Oh, shoot. Workout. Yeah, okay. That's a good pause. That, that was a good dramatic pause. Yeah. I mean, I'm really passionate about working out, as you guys have seen in their vlogs. I mean, working out is extremely good for you, and the most important thing, which I think you could make a broader sense off of that question, is be confident. Yeah, just ask. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. It's like, when you're at a certain young age, you get so nervous about asking a girl out, right? Yeah. And then when you get older, it's just like, there's no pride left in it, as in... Well, if she says yes, then I got a date, and if she says no, then I don't. And there doesn't have to be anything more than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Start off without a date, end without a date, not losing anything. Mm. I think in like high school and stuff, it gets really like nerve wracking because you're around the same people every day. So if you do get rejected, everyone around you is going to hear about it and be like, right. "Man, that kid got roasted." Like, yeah, that you know, kid got you know rejected. Exactly. She said, "Yo, your hair's ugly, so I'm not going with you," or whatever. She didn't no, say yeah. that to me. Oh, well, you're Look at that flow. <laughs> But <laughs> no, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, when you're in a small clique or any sort of small yep. ecosystem like high school, there's consequences. <laughs> there's consequences to failure. Whereas we could tie this into the magic brand, where people ask how do you approach people doing magic. It's the same way you ask a girl. You just go and ask them, mm. and you don't care about the result. Yeah, like at school, if I go in, if I was still in school, if I went up, did a card trick for a group of kids, messed up flagrantly just the worst method i've ever seen they're gonna tell everyone else everyone else is gonna know about it they're gonna know that when they see me every single day i might a have failure. a chance to uh yeah i might have a chance to redeem redeem myself later on but if i go and mess up to a group of people which actually did happen to me earlier today where it just kind of <laughs> the trick didn't really work out too well it wasn't a great one i redeem myself later on but i'm never gonna see those people again yeah actually they probably fall off and rise they're probably gonna leave us some mean comments but oh well, I'll block them. Well, those type Get of consequences, gang. though, those are artificial consequences. Yeah, like yeah, in high yeah. school, social circles? Who, no, gives, yeah. who gives a crap, dude? I like, went to multiple high schools, and one was a smaller high school. And when I went to the bigger high school, the public high school, I realized the stuff I used to care about in the cliques, I was like, dang. Who they're who whack. Who gives a crap, yeah, exactly. Dude. Seriously. There was like 18 people in that class. Yeah. I don't care. So of your eight years in high school, which was your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Senior year, no yeah. question, because I was able to drink. I was 21. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not true, guys. I don't drink, and I was not 21 in high school. I was 18. All right. But, yeah. <laughs> anyway. This is another question from Jonathan J. Pegg. It's asking, how many countries have you been to? One. Two. Two. What? You've been to oh, Canada. Been I went to Canada. Niagara Falls Canada. Once. Canada gang. So we've been three feet into Canada, and besides that, I basically stayed in Pennsylvania, Virginia, New York my entire life. Have you been on a yeah. plane? Never been, been on, on a plane, plane. in my entire Wow. Life. I didn't even know that. Never been on a plane once. Did you guys go to Disney World? Drove. Drove. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys, <laughs> I don't know. Sucks. Yo, comment below if anyone else can relate to this. Our family. Yeah, well, my family has never flown. I've flown by myself. Right, right. But it's like, oh, we're going to Florida. Bundle up. We're going to all pile into the car yeah, for 18 yeah. hours. I did choir tour and went to Disney World on a bus. Choir tour? Yeah. I got golden pipes, dude. Just kidding. I needed a fine arts credit, and we were going to Disney World. So I, <laughs> I needed for one a fine year, arts and then I quit. Credit. Yep. Uh, yeah, it was, that was a terrible experience, actually, as a whole. <laughs> tell us more about Disney your Disney World Park. is entirely overrated. I'm going to tell you that right you now. You think so? It's a, just sponsor us, though, Disney. You could get some this mad dislikes on this podcast. 
for saying Disney World it's, is overrated. Disney World is overrated. And I'm gonna tell I've you. I've only why. been there once. Okay. Tell us why though. I haven't been there since I was like. It's four. a crap ton of people. I, you spend more time waiting than you do anything else. Part that's one. for any amusement park. No, but that is a waste of freaking time. All right. No, I agree. Because I mean, some like Rock and Roller well, Coaster how, was fantastic. If I interject for a second, Dorney Park, Hershey Park. I've been there. And you actually do spend more time doing rides than waiting if you go on the right day. So. Well, yeah, I understand. But Disney World, there is never a right day, my guy. Yeah, it's always full. It's an international attraction. <laughs> so, some things are cool. I mean, Rock and Roller Coaster was a lot of fun and Space Mountain were a lot of fun. But they were roller coasters. And you can do this anywhere. That's what I'm saying. So, rather than spending $800 to stay in a hotel and have your kid eaten by a crocodile, just go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Take you know, camping. I, I, just, Mountains. I was just about to say that. I feel like if I had a family, if I ever have a family, besides you guys, <laughs> but I wouldn't want to take them to Disney World or like some attraction. I'd be like, I want to go to like a beach, Spend but a time. natural beach, yeah. like a cool area. Yeah. Let's go hunt a bear together. You guys are you're so <laughs> focused on trying to go other places. You don't really care about who you're going to the places with. Oh, mm-hmm. shoot. Personal opinion, mm. you might yeah. love Disney no. World. I'm sorry. It's like, not about what you're doing. It's about who you're doing it with. There you go. Like, sometimes I love the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> 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 but... <laughs> no one understands why we're laughing right now. <laughs> Tell you want to tell us why we're laughing? She won't listen. Cheesecake Factory. Well, I had a girlfriend once. Okay. Once. Tell Mom us about gave it. me a $100 gift card to take her to the Cheesecake Factory. $100? $100. <laughs> I didn't Are know they that. stacked? No, not at all. How long have you been dating when she just dropped a, che- like a Benjamin on you? four months. She hit me with a Cheesecake Factory gift card. Mm. Uh, took her there once, broke up the next week, still have the rest of the money on the gift card. Hey, I say you if won you that. gain nothing, gain a Cheesecake Factory gift card. That is true. Material possessions are the best. 100%. Yes. 100%, especially if they're monetarily based. <laughs> anyway, next question. Spend a little bit of time on that. Ooh, Okay. Why is there a thing called a grapefruit when there's already a fruit called a grape? Uh, the English language sucks. Next question. Yeah, it's very That's inadequate. Stupid. I'm not even reading their name. If you saw your brother being attacked by a bear, would you help your brother or the bear? Well, I think I could speak for both of you that if yeah. I saw Tyler Smith fighting a grizzly bear, I think, Tyler, you're actually bigger than a grizzly bear. Mm. Yeah. And I'm all about competition and fair fights. So I'd have to probably square up against you and join the grizzly bear just to make sure that like, he stays out there alive. Maybe just escapes with minor injuries instead mm. of being brutally murdered yeah. by you. I know. Same with you, Grant. If I saw you fighting a bear, I'd probably take out a rifle and shoot you. <laughs> Maybe in like the leg or something so you could still keep fighting. Yeah. But you know how they say, like, oh, I could beat you with one arm tied behind my back? Yeah. I would, I would expect you to do that out of fairness exactly. of the bear. And then if I saw you beating up the bear, not only would I help the bear, I'd take a picture, tweet it at PETA, be like, yo, get this boy. Get him. <laughs> Twitter He's do your abusing thing. a bear. Twitter do your thing. Exactly. Like, same if I ever saw you. I would um, just like throw some nunchucks or something at the bear and be like, hey, you need a weapon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, the thing is, if I was fighting a grizzly bear, it would be two punches, right? Two hits, right? Me hitting the bear and it hitting the floor. <laughs> Word. Okay, what's next? All right, next question. I was thinking, brother, you guys ever, ever watch the movie Brother Bear? Sorry, completely off. Is that the animated cartoon? Yeah. One? Yes. Wasn't it awful? It's a di- no, it was good. It is a Disney I classic. I haven't seen it since I was four. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen one. you. Know, uh, one of my friends who happened to be a girl. All I know is that both of those bears can square up. Anyway. Oh. One of my friends who happens to be a girl. Uh huh. Her name will be named nameless, but you guys know who I'm talking about. I actually have no uh, idea. Okay, well, she was getting on me the other day because I've never seen Mulan. Is that bad or good, or have I, should I have watch Have you Mulan? actually never seen Mulan? I've never, I'm not saying this for the video. What I, the heck, dog? I've never seen Mulan. I've never actually watched it all the way through either. I mean, they made too many of them, but the first one Wait, there's great. more than one there's Mulan? There's like three. I what? did not even know that. Yeah, the first one's great. I'll make a man out of you. That's a great one. I hear those golden pipes, bud. Dude, and like... Here one of the choir tour best her. cinematic scenes ever is when they're trying to bandage her and they find out she has boobs. Because then they're all like, <laughs> oh, what? holy crap, you're a girl. Wait, wait, so, wait. So, I don't know. Quick pl- plot rundown. Mulan. Spoiler, spoiler alert. I was just about to say spoiler alert. Uh, Kangas Khan is taken, I don't know, is it, was it China he took over? I'm assuming so since they're all Chinese. Something Asian. Hey, that's racist. Aren't they Chinese? I so, can't tell. So, some... <laughs> Because <laughs> we're there animated any... characters, I so, can't tell. Somewhere in the Orient, Kangas Khan is running through towns, okay? And he runs through this town by Mulan, and she wants to go fight. 
for her father. But she's a girl, so they won't let her. Mm -hmm. So she ties up her hair all fancy, because, you know, all Asian dudes wear oh, bones I, anyway. I've never seen it, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, about. ties up her hair, goes and pretends to be a soldier, right? Meets a super hot other dude, and they start flirting, which is weird. Because he, because thought, she was he a guy. thought she was a guy. But, you know, Disney's progressive like that. And then she gets wounded, right? She falls off this tree, and the doctor comes in to heal her and takes off her robe. And now it doesn't show you the boobs, right? Yeah. But then, bam! Boobs. Do they really pop out? Yeah, they, she literally, it's like, he. Oh, it's like uh, you know in Pulp Fiction when they open the briefcase and they're like, oh, that's what they do. They open the robe and they're like, oh, and then they all run out of the tent and they're like, oh my gosh. And then she's a girl. But then they go and defeat Kangas Khan with fireworks. Great Spoiler movie. alert. Yeah. Speaking of cinematics, if we take a quick tangent. Yeah. Definitely. I think it's safe about a month, I would say a month and a week after the release of the Star Wars The Last Jedi to talk about that movie. Okay. Have yeah, a little discussion about The Last Jedi. Spoiler alert. Spoiler because on The Last Jedi. Whether you guys, and you're like, I don't know what this podcast is even about. They just answer questions, talk about magic a little bit. Well, too bad, because I feel like everyone likes Star Wars, and everyone likes hearing people talk about Star Wars. Boba Fett. Is that Boba Fett? Oh, yeah. Grant right now is holding a Boba Fett Lego minifigure. He just took his head off. Big, oh. Can we get a big his helmet? Okay. Can we get a big rip R.I.P. for Boba Fett? Boba Fett's still alive. Yeah, Boba Fett definitely is not dead. Yeah, he's not I dead. I thought he got eaten by that John. Yeah, he escaped. What? He escaped. Oh my gosh. Dude. He escaped, I know. I'm saying escaped. I'm talking, I'm Tim. Oh my gosh. Did Wait, you yeah. I haven't seen the Return of the Jedi in a I long mean, time. I mean, it wasn't shown in the films, but like, it's, oh, okay. it's confirmed outside. It's canon outside of it. I had no idea. Because I was like, alive. hold up. I've seen all the Star Wars movies so many times. That yeah. dude definitely got swallowed. He did get swallowed, but then he, like, he's Boa Fett. He flew out. <laughs> <laughs> so in canon, Boa Fett's still alive. Yeah. Is he like, appear anywhere? So this I don't know. So yet. he could appear know. in episode nine. He could if he really wanted to. He was probably mad old. But mad yeah, but old. especially since he's a clone. But he's got jetpacks. Yeah. And guns. Both that's a clone, you know that, right? Yeah. So it's but Jango. he's a real Well, Django was what they made all the clones off of, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dude, Django gets no love. I love Django. Well, Django got straight up snoked in the neck. Definitely yeah. did. That's a spoiler. <laughs> that's a spoiler right there. We already gave you spoilers, but... Um, uh, but Jan like, he was going up against Mace Windu, which is arguably the most powerful Jedi. Yeah, dude, Mace Windu was a homie. Like... Jet, Boba Fett. Mace Windu died like a punk, though. He did. <laughs> well, actually, I, I don't know if he died like a punk, but he couldn't know. People argue whether or not he actually died. It wasn't he supposed to be Snoke? But People he wasn't. He was yeah. Well, they, they don't, they don't tell you who is. Snoke was. Yeah, that, okay. All right. But first, quick Before dive we go in. over here, who, uh, overall, just in a yes or no? One to ten. One to ten, yes. Seven. 8.6. I'll give it an eight. Okay, first off, real quick, as you just mentioned, we don't know who Snoke was. That freaking pissed me off that they just yeah. killed him before we learned anything about him. I think you'll learn more about him in episode nine. I definitely that, do. But he's dead. Yeah, but there's still a lot of, like, he, he created the First Order, so he still has a, his hand is in everything. That is true. Also, one of the best scenes in the movie is when they battle in that room. Just oh, so good. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> choreography in that scene. Is when, uh, exceptional. When Kylo cuts him in half with Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber, yep. and the lightsaber comes floating over, Ray grabs it, and then they go Dance Dance Revolution. Oh. And red... Yeah, they just go ham on all these red fools. <laughs> There's a meme where they place that song over the fight scene, and it's amazing. It is great. Like in Thor Ragnarok, another great movie. But anyway... Yeah, no, that scene was really good. Uh, the light speed. Yeah, it had, mm. so, it had some of the best I, visuals. I think that that movie contained one of the most iconic Star Wars scenes of all time. When Purple Hair Lady... What is her name? Do we know? I don't care. It was like Hoko. Yeah. Hoko. People are saying, like, you're not Star Wars fans, you don't know her name. She had purple she hair. She was irrelevant. No, no, did anyone like her? I don't think so. I don't so. even like her even, after she even, sacrificed I herself. was going to say, even after she, like, revealed that she was on, like, the good team the whole side... The good team. Um, I was still like, why'd you gotta treat my boy Poe like yeah, that? Yeah, team good gang. Poe's an idiot also. Poe's an idiot, but, but he, Poe is a freaking baller idiot. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. He, that opening scene, like, he went in. He did, he did. Yeah, He's a baller pilot, he's just stupid. I mean, truthfully, it was everyone. his team didn't back him up though. They didn't Here, protect the bombers. Hold up, here's my problem with the whole, some of the critiques of that movie. There's a lot of people mad about that bombing scene because the bombs are falling in outer space. So I was like, okay, I get it. You're saying the movie's unrealistic. 
So where do you draw a line? Is it the laser swords? But like, is it the mystical force powers that make people fly across rooms? People is it that, say it's falling. Is it that you? Is it that you can FaceTime by just touching people? Like what? What's the problem with it? I thought they shot the bombs down. That's what. Like that's very possible. Yeah, I thought like, I didn't as long as it has strong. some sort of forward momentum, like it's going to keep going. At the top, right? It's going to keep going. That's what space is. So it's not that they're falling. I'm sure there's a little mini mechanism at the top pushing them down. Yeah. But I just think that's a weird complaint to have about the movie. Very weird complaint. Very Especially with all the unrealistic things that are happening in Star Wars, and you're like, yeah, those bombs shouldn't be falling in outer space. I think part of the reason that's Well, I don't think light speed's was, physically possible, but, you know, whatever. They tried, they tried to set it. They were trying to set up Rose through that scene. I think it was a big reason why that was a part of it, even. Yeah, yeah Rose. Kind of an unnecessary character. It's completely also, unnecessary character. Yeah, she should have gone into the gun at the end. Yeah, she... Here's the thing. I don't like... But... I don't get why she kissed Finn. That was completely unnecessary. It was a weird kiss. Dude. I mean, it was she like was a, just a lip tap, dude. But see, what I don't I don't <laughs> like about that. First off, I love the movie. I'm not trying to say that, but the fact that she died like three seconds after, like leaning forward to kiss him all energetically. Don't tell me that was like a last ditch. If you're that injured that you're gonna die, you can't you can't go up and kiss someone like that. That's that's, that's just cinematic. Like, yeah, it's just weird too. Where are you gonna draw the line though, Chair? I can control the line. But back to the light speed scene. Like I've heard some people like have complaints about, well, why hasn't it ever been used as a weapon before? Because it's like those are multi million like one of the biggest complaints is just that like, oh if light speed can just go and like slice through ships, why don't they do that? It's a big investment. Yeah. It's a large investment. That was that was the multi million best dollar. ship yeah. that they destroyed. So that's not like it was our last ship. The resistance does not have very many. Um, <laughs> suicide bombing is never a good option. Yeah, even if it's with a. What well, don't don't you say it? <laughs> don't you say it? It's I mean, not like a good option. The first order, now that that's happened. I wouldn't be surprised if in the next movie they have like kamikaze stormtroopers trying to go light speed their people. Oh. Yeah, that's something that the, that the first order would do. Frax, who cares about stormtroopers? All clones, anyway. Are clones people too? Tell us below. I think so. Yeah, they all, they all have their own individual. Yeah. Because nurture versus nature, you're completely crafted by the experience you have in life. So even uh, identical twins who are almost identical, they have a little bit different experiences Facts. throughout their life and end up being very, very different. Facts. Because you're formed by your experience, not by your genetics. And if or you is a mix of it, but... If you haven't watched Star Wars Clone Wars, you will grow to love animated. clones. <laughs> Dude, it's Dude, so Star good. Star Wars Clone Wars is good. It's good. Right. I would... Tyler? Yes. I'll pull it's it up. Good. I'll pull it up. It's on Netflix. I'll watch it's on it. Netflix. No, it's very Seriously. good. You will watch all. I watched the, all of it in about a course of two weeks. Okay, Grant. <laughs> well, with I don't know, you can't really spoil that at this point. But you think it's like a kids show because it, it's animated, right? Uh, no. Darth Maul. With Darth Maul's brother. What's his name? I forget. Uh, Savage or something like Savage that. Savage Apprentice, right? Something like that. You think this is a kids show? They walk into a boardroom with like twelve leaders. And Savage and Darth Maul's like, yes, Savage, do your thing. This Spoiler dude, alert for Clone Wars. This dude had throws a already. double blade lightsaber and decapitates twelve people at once, and then brings it back to himself. This is an animated like Cartoon Network show. And the dude, but brutal, brutal murder. <laughs> dude, straight up, just like not force chokes, force pulls someone to his hands and just crushes their neck with his hand. Like you see it go. You don't actually see it, but oh, it's really? Largely insane. I thought I know what you were talking about. <laughs> it's largely insane. <laughs> it's largely insane. All right, I'll check pop. it out. Anime. Hey. Anime is It's not anime. It's not anime. It's Ani like Jimmy Neutron. Uh, yeah. Jimmy Neutron was a show. Oh, we're talking about anime. What? I oh, no. no, no, I'm trying to preserve the anime. Art. What's the difference between anime and other animated things? Anime, anime is, is like a like, specific Japanese style. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I don't really know. What's I'm the difference not... between anim anime and manga? I don't know. I'm You're pretty sure manga is like book form. Huh. What's the, what's anime? TV show form? Yeah. 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 I've heard good things about some anime TV shows on Netflix. Yeah, and I just put them out of my head. Attack on Titan, everybody says is like out of this world good. Yeah, I have no idea. Anyway. If you watch anime. All right, so. Good, good for you. Let's wrap up this last Jedi thing, though. I love the movie. Now, my thing with Tyler is, is Tyler loved the movie right after it was over, but didn't like the movie after he read some reviews on it. That's how I think about it. And I thought it. about it, yeah. So. What my take on that is, personally, in my mind, is I was, ooh, I was probably very into, um, pulls you in. Very, yeah, I was very into the visuals and stuff, and I think I was very like, <gasps> oh, Star Wars, because there are some sick scenes. Oh my goodness! Like when uh, Luke gets blasted by Kylo and then walks out of the thing, brushes off his shoulder. Iconic. That's that a little bit corny for oh, me, but I enjoyed it. Fantastic. 
But when I was thinking about it, like, it's really long, for one. And there, there are some plot holes, but I agree with Chandler in that I definitely thought more about it after I had, uh, after we had left the theater. In my opinion, I devalued it some when I started listening to other people. Let me go off on people like you. Okay, go ahead. People care so much about what other people think of them and other people's opinions that they don't value their own. They have to hear other people's opinions before they make their own opinion. Mm. The people do this with girls, people do this with movies, people do this with anything where you could walk up and think, man, that girl's pretty. And then walk over to your group of friends and they'll start like pointing out things about her and you're like, ah, oh, I guess she wasn't that pretty. Go on what you thought. Yeah, yeah. So I love that movie. I go home, check Twitter, people hate it. I'm like, huh, I still love the movie. Yeah, well, I'm not so saying I hate forming, the movie. You're forming your opinions right. based off of other people's opinions yeah. rather than forming your own opinions. That's fair. And Like people who review movies, I don't think they should be able to read anything about it before they go in. Mm. I don't think they should be able to read what other people say because then you see that everyone hates the movie. So either I want to pretend to like the movie to be the odd man out or I have to go with the crowd and hate the movie. That's all politics anyway. Like the Emoji movie was fantastic. But people oh my gosh. Shout out Jack's films. <laughs> True. Yeah. Very true. No, I understand that, and that makes sense. But, I mean, I'm not saying I hated the movie. I'm saying I'm weighing it and balancing it at this point. I know. I will say, I think a lot of the stuff that people point out as common plot holes aren't actually. Right. Um, the only thing that I can think of is the scene where Finn and Captain Phasma, uh, when they're about to be executed, and all of a sudden the ship light drives, uh, lights, hyperspace is whatever it's called. I, for, I can't think light of the right speeds. word. Yep, light speeds. Go. Yep. I didn't think that was a good word for it, though. Like, straight through the ship, then all of a sudden, like, Finn and Rose are, like, a few hundred meters away from Captain Phasma and the Stormtroopers. Yeah, that was odd. I don't understand that. I think, like, maybe a scene was cut out. I can't wait to see the actual director's cut with all the stuff that wasn't left out. Mm. I feel like that'll make a lot more sense. But, um, yeah, I feel like a lot of the plot holes and stuff are there for Episode Nine, which you can say whether or not you agree with, like... Leaving a lot of stuff out specifically for the next movie that's two years down the road. Well, it's, it's a trilogy. When is it? It's two years away? Yeah. Yeah, there's a Star Wars movie every year. Next year is Han Solo. I thought it was Obi-Wan next year. No, Obi-Wan's the next. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. They're making a Boba Fett anthology, I'm pretty sure. Really? I'm pretty sure they're making I'm, a Boba Fett. Oh, Big shout oh. out to Boba Fett. Dude's a ball. Yeah, Han Solo. Who are they going to play Han Solo? Oh, last, last thing. Um, they I already announced Don, the actor. Donald Glover's Lando in that. Huh. Like Childish Gambino. Donald yeah, Glover. I, I know Donald Okay. Glover. Yeah, yeah. Dang, because I mean Harrison Ford is old. So what are they gonna do? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, not, it's, it's a different actor. It's a different, different actor. Dennis Quaid. I always thought they looked alike. You know who that is? Dennis Quaid yeah. and Harrison Ford? No. They look a lot alike. He's also old though, so I mean it's okay. Is he the guy in the rookie? Yes. Yeah. Alright, last topic on The Last Jedi. Ha! And then uh we'll move on. It's but it's not we will finally move on. Ray's parents. Here's my thing. People are so mad that Ray's parents are nobody. The only way she found that out is because Kylo told her that when he's trying to turn her to the dark side. So they're definitely somebody. I don't think that her parents are yeah. nobody. I think Kylo was lying to her or Snoke was lying to her, whoever told Kylo that, right? Yeah, because if you think about it, in this actual scene in The Force Awakens, um, once you go, like the scene where her parents actually leave her behind, they fly off in a nice ship. Yeah, yeah. that is. That's like it's not, a, it's not a ship that drunkards would have. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't think that makes sense. Oh, and she's so strong with the force too. Yeah. Either retconning. Well, it proves at the end of the movie with the random kid yeah. who could use the force that anybody can use the force. So if you say Ray's a Mary Sue, who's a nobody who can use the force so powerfully, then Anakin Skywalker's a Mary Sue because he, he he was the kid of a slave and he has all this force powers now. Yeah. He had no Where'd he get him from? The bottom line is I don't think force has to be right. isn't a genealogy thing. Yeah. I think anybody Certainly can helps, have it. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's another thing. The Leia Force scene when she was in space. That was weird. But she's used the Force before. Okay, but that was weird. It was weird. I think the, the, the like, pose they had her in is what made it corny. Probably. Yeah, it was very Mary Poppinsy. Yeah. It was also very, like, oh, we can't kill you but yet. But first watching, I right was... Day. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. Very true. Yeah, that's true. Big rip. I was so <laughs> shocked when she did that, though. Like, that was one of the moments in the movie we go, <gasps> right? Yeah. Because... Yeah. You assume that since Carrie Fisher's dead in real life, that if she's dying in the movie, that yeah, she's yeah. definitely. So I think they're just trying to get to, like, gotcha. Well, they had already filmed the entire movie before, you know. Yeah. And they had the entire script finished, so. So they didn't want to just kill her off just because she died. Yeah. I, don't, I think it was just boys. Do you guys have anything else to say about the last Jedi? Nah. No. I already. really enjoyed it. I've watched it twice yeah. in theaters. Yeah. I've only seen it once, but I've enjoyed it. I enjoyed Dude, it. Now I keep thinking about Paul Walker, man. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> 
big rip to Paul. Dude, Walker. the montage at the end of the fast. Well, when I see you again, it's like one of the most powerful songs. Like when I first heard that, it was wild. Yeah, except yeah. for the rapping. Hey, rapping. Wiz killed it. Don't even play. It was emotional rap. It was emotional. It, was. it wasn't like a, yeah. I remember when I was graduating high school. Big shout out to Joe Pfeiffer, future MMA star. We're walking down the hallway to do a senior walkout, so the entire school lines the hallway. And Joe Pfeiffer, future Conor McGregor, is blasting out his Bluetooth speaker when I see you again by Wiz Khalifa. And it's, the authorities are like, turn it off, turn it off. And he's just like, everyone, goodbye. Next time you see me, I will be on Spike TV. And it's just blasting Wiz Khalifa. Dude, Spike I was walking next to him. Spike TV had a show called Ultimate Warrior. That kid knocked someone out in 40, 30 seconds. Yeah, my friend, guys, my friend Joe Pfeiffer, look him up. Hopefully you get he to do is. a vlog with him. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do a vlog with Joe training MMA. He's had three professional fights in MMA. Three knockouts. And they're all within the first round. Dude is insane. So dude just kills people. I will show you videos from Joe. Grant, Grant can put in highlight videos yeah. in the video version of this podcast. Dude is destroying people. Mm. People eight years older than him. He's 20. Dang. Like professional established fighters. He's just hitting them out in three hits. That's crazy. Yeah. It's wild. But anyway... Next segment. And when he's famous, I have a picture with him on prom night. Do you? Yeah, he used to pick me up. So this is an MMA fighter who I went to high school with. I'm so six foot nine. Segment. I was probably six foot eight in high school, right? And he would pick me up and put me over his head in gym class and throw me up there and drop me and catch me like six inches away from the ground. That's. I asked him to stop. It was terrifying. <laughs> yeah. So he's a strong dude is what you're telling me. Very okay. strong. He's about six foot, th- six foot three for an MMA fighter too. He's... Is that, He's strong. Is that big for That's tall fighter? for a fighter, yeah. Fighters I don't, I'm not into that sport. sort of thing, but hey. I did yeah. watch the McGregor-Mayweather fight, though. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was, it was fun, good. yeah. I agree. I enjoyed watching it. It was fun. When he started falling, it was funny. So we all started <laughs> laughing. I was with a bunch of my basketball team, and all of them were cheering for Mayweather. You're talking very quietly. Am I? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be quiet. I'm distracted. Alrighty. I'm thinking <laughs> about other things. Next segment, though, for real. Oh, I'm not done yet. We're still talking about Mayweather-McGregor. No, yeah, not. let's talk about sporting events that happened six months ago. Yeah, I was just going to talk about how the lady who we ordered wings Next from... Next segment. Try to charge me $180 for 36 wings. $186 <laughs> for 36 yeah, wings. Yeah, and then I was like, you know what, can you just take off four of those? And then it went down 90 bucks. So clearly she was just stupid. I said, can I get 36 wings? She said, actually, we don't offer that. But I can give you three orders of 12. Would that be okay? Oh my gosh. Yeah, anyway. Shout out Buffalo Wild Wings. Very good wings. Sponsor us, please. Don't want to try to pay $150. $190. Yeah, dude, it's expensive. All right, next All right. segment. Yeah, finally. Let's get started back up with some stale memes. It's time for our favorite segment. Is stale this, memes. Is this really our favorite segment? I don't That's know. It's the first segment when we try to explain jokes that are funny <laughs> without actually showing them. Yeah. Can you get off my phone? I, I want to see who she is. Hold on. Tara's stalking a girl who DM'd me on Instagram. Yeah. Can we What's stay focused? Oh, is that her grandfather? Name? Oh, oh, I'm it's taking been my six phone. years. All right, can I comment R.I.P.? No, you cannot comment R.I.P. on a picture of your dead grandfather. You idiot! Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start off. All right, I put a heart with a nice emoji video. After. Well, actually, with a nice picture by call me Q Moon. He Q-Moon. tweeted out and said, <laughs> "Might have lost the game, but I'm still winning." And he posted a picture with his girl. And when you swipe to the right, you got another picture of him and his girl with the scoreboard in the background. So he said he lost the game. The score was 107 to 46. So this prompted Twitter to uh, have all sorts of replies to that quote tweet like, bro, could have cropped up the scoreboard. Or, my dude, how do you lose by 56 (laughs) points? I don't know if it was 56. But like, seriously, this dude is... Clearly straight garbage. And he could have easily cropped up the scoreboard. You want to show that you lost by that many points? I don't get it. He's trying to. I think he's trying to be funny. It's a joke, man. Yeah. It must have been one of those things when D1 maybe schools... He didn't get, maybe he didn't get any uh, playing time. So. Oh, like when Liberty plays BBC. Yeah, where yeah. D1 schools, especially bad ones, will start off by playing D3 schools. And then almost lose. Yeah, like Liberty <laughs> University. Yeah. Especially in basketball. Anyway, whose turn is it next? Uh, I'll go next. This is a video of a girl. She's running around in a box, and she falls over. The video is only worth it for the laugh that you hear in the background. Though. Play it out loud for us. Faster! Tyra, that sounds like your laugh. That's weird. Yeah, funny coincidence. Make me go viral, guys. Anyway, you can find that on Twitter username at ChanTheMan31. Very true. 
Free right, you got a meme for us? My meme. Tyler actually provided to me. I don't actually have the picture, but I know how it goes. The tweet goes, fellas, are you down with a girl who has a little bit of cellulite? And someone replies and says, man, I don't care what type of phone she got. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. Oh, that's a good one. Quality. But a right. little bit stale. All these things were pretty stale, so. which makes them great memes for stale memes. There we go. Oh, On to the next segment. Just cut my gums. And Todd is not how to know how to floss correctly. You know, if you get good enough at flossing, you can floss without your hand, and you can transfer teeth like... What that mouth do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next segment. All righty, let's go. So right, now, lastly, we're going to leave you with some inspiration with our Rise Up segment. You dropped your floss. Thank break. you, I have it now. Now, Grant and Todd were too lazy to find their own quotes, but that Correct. ties in perfectly. We just wanted to leave some time for discussion for this one. Well, it ties in perfectly with me calling you guys lazy. So listen to this. My therapist told me that she doesn't like using the word lazy because no one's really lazy, just demotivated. The vocabulary we use in explaining our behavior is important. Lazy ends the conversation and promotes self-hate. Demotivated suggests there's a source and it can be fixed. Do you see what I'm saying? You can read it if you want. But basically what it's saying is calling someone oh, lazy is it. not true. It's like depression, Yeah. right? So there's a reason why someone's being lazy. And that ties in with other things where someone says, oh, I like spending time alone. I'm just an introvert. I'm just antisocial. No, you don't, right? Yeah. It's a problem in your life and it can be fixed. It's just like anything. It's a problem in your life that can be fixed. So calling someone lazy and something like that or feeling lazy yourself, you can look deeper. So there's a, there's a cause to my laziness. So I feel like you should still be able to call people lazy. No, no, no. I mean, it's not like one of those things where you're like, oh, I can't call people. Talking about like an introspective. So it's introspective. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So are there days when you're feeling lazy, Tyler? Yeah, man. When I'm demotivated. There you go. (laughs) Yeah. I know. No, but that actually makes sense when you just, well, you say that you don't feel like doing anything. Yeah. But there's a reason. But there's a reason why you don't. It's not a trait. Laziness isn't a trait. Mm. Mm -hmm. So when people ask like, you know, how do you put out a video a week or in this case, three videos a week? You know, that's, that's a lot of work, right? Suck it up. Well, you're not lazy because you're motivated to do something. You have a goal. Yeah. So I think a key to not being lazy is setting goals and you actually have milestones to reach. That's positive. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Like having a to-do list, crossing things off, even though there's small things at the start of the day. Really good seeing that attitude of just getting stuff done. Yeah. It's all right. Look me in the eyes, bud. You can do anything. Put your mind. Just believe. You maybe maybe even become a surgeon. <laughs> maybe even become a surgeon. <laughs> Not likely. No. But very maybe. unlikely. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So that was a complete failure to inspire you, but we did our best. I don't know about that one. I Guess what? Your inspiration depends on yourself and your own motivations, and it's not a trait. You can fix it. Are you looking at the microphone right now? I'm talking to the people. I'm Are you the people. looking at the microphone? It was wobbling. I thought it was going to fall over and Boba Fett was looking like a snack. Look at this boy over here. <laughs> but dude, uh, now that I know he's not dead, it's not weird anymore to like him. Love is love. And <laughs> that is enough. On that note that I am attracted to inanimate objects, especially this. But look at this helmet though. It's very well designed. Can you pop up a... Uh, just going to pop up a picture. This, a Boba or Fett. just get... You're already in there. See if it face tracks. Boba. So Boba. that's not working at all. Hey, not with that attitude. Yep, still not working. Oh, yeah, here it is. Boba uh, Fett. Boba uh, Fett. Boba uh, Fett. And he fell in the Snorlax <laughs> pit and he's dead. Would your children be born with helmets? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We enjoy filming it. Can they have kids? Clones? Can you have kids? Clones? Yeah, yeah. of course. Actually, in, in, the, clone- in the Clone Wars, yep. Yeah, in the Clone Wars, there's a clone who defected and had kids. All right, spoiler. We already said spoilers. Wait, so but what traits do they pass on? Their own traits or traits from whoever they were cloned from? Their own traits. Which are the traits that they were cloned from? But then That's how, how the, cloning works, Tyler! But how is Finn Black? He's not a clone. He's a stormtrooper. Do you not know the difference, you idiot? Dude, I don't even know. I thought he was a clone. No, no. clones are in the prequels. Clones right, are the stormtroopers are stormtroopers are real. Yeah, oh, yeah, they de- okay, they okay. Uh, got I'm rid tripping, of the cloning tripping. program. My bad, my bad. All the stormtroopers you see in are the different original people. trilogy are real people, not clones. Okay. Yeah, I mean, some of them are actually clones who are left over. Like right, right. Or they stopped making clones. 
the clone and then program just people from the empire who they kind of like just took up and like almost like uh what's it called uh what's it the draft yeah you draft people in star wars kind of yeah what do you think about women being able to be drafted Let's not get into anyway, that. Anyway, all this we is know this is episode that of Rise Again. All three of us are way too large to be drafted. Yeah, that's I a fact. I'm top! Just kidding, I do want to serve my country, but I'm not mad I won't yeah. be forced to against my will. So, <laughs> you know. Anyway. All right, let's turn this off. Yeah. Let's stop Before the we go to more tangents, we're going to get out of here. See you guys next week. It's Toil Monday. Rise again Wednesday and Thursday Wednesday. Thursday my bad and always gosh bad. there are over 17,000 different genders of fun today. have a good night <laughs> and peace out well that was a training for the podcast yeah